Shalom. I'll pray for you. How about some of y'all Double honor to the apostles and elders of great years to you. And peace and blessings to the uh, elect. And uh, salutations to the brothers out there preaching this truth. With diligence and sincerity. So uh, this is a response to the, the elder brothers in Dallas. It's about a week ago. Uh, Entitled uh, uh, the 144,000 prophets, and around the time that that video was done, I was planning on doing a video on the same topic. But because you know, I saw the video being done, I you know, I, I said, well, you know, obviously it would be, it would be thoroughly uh, investigated. So I decided, you know, not to do it. But the spirit hopped on me to do it anyway. So I'm just not. I'm just gonna go into, you know, I'm just gonna ask the scriptures or whatever. But uh, yes, the hundred forty-four thousand are men. Okay, and uh, let's get some scriptures. All right. Um. Let's um, start off with. Uh, let's start off with Revelation fourteen three. Time. This is Revelation 14 1. It says, And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 140 and 4,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of, oh, and that lamb is Yahweh Shai. Okay. And as the voice of uh, the Son of the Most High, whom the word ignorant calls Jesus. Uh, back at verse 2. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. Verse 3. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty-four, but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, but they are virgins. These are they which follow the lamb, the lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits to the most high men. The land. Now, this is the prophet because the song that they that this scripture speaking of is about the truth. Alright? And who the the truth being the word of, of the most high, who delivered the word of the most high? The the word of the most high is delivered by the prophet. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the uh, the Lord power will do nothing but he reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Numbers 12 and 6. If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord myself will reveal I, I the Lord will reveal myself to him in a vision or in a dream. My servant Moses is not so. So let's further back up uh that song. Alright. Should I say? This is Matthews 11, verse 17. I start at 16. This is how I was speaking. It says, But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like children. It's like, it is like unto children sitting in the marketplaces and calling unto their fellows and saying, We have piped to you, and ye have not then. Just like Proverbs 1. Uh, we're going to Proverbs, the first chapter, which says, uh, you said at now all my counsel. I stretched out my hand and no man regarded. How is the Lord stretching out his hand and how is the Lord revealing his counsel? Through his men. All right, verse 17 is saying, We have piped unto you, we, we singing. We piped. But they got the pipe. Uh, uh, Alio in the Greek to play the flute to pipe. So we, you know, we we relaying a song to you, man. It says in sin, we have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. You don't like the song. We have mourned unto you, and you have not lamented, because the scripture in Ezekiel says, uh, within and without was written mourning, lamentation, and woe. We tell you, we tell you the future mourning this place from the uh, sea, the lamentations, the destruction. You know what I'm saying? But you not, you not, you not heeding to it. You not hearing to it. You don't like the tune. You know what I'm saying? You don't like the beat. You don't like the words. You know, you don't like the melody. You know, that's why the scripture says, that pipe to you and you have not danced. You're not feeling the message, man. 
uh, Revelation 11 and 18. Oh, no, I don't want that. It's a lot. Matter of fact, we can get it. Because the 144,000 being the prophets and the servants of the Lord, it's a separation from the re the remainder one-third, man, that the that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai going to deliver, man. The prophets are on another on another class. Because it's, it's important to relay the word of the Lord, man. That's not no, that's not no uh, meaning you... You know what I'm saying? That's not no no small matter. We we, we land the message of the Most High Power. So that's not that's that's a big deal. It says, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them. Which destroyed the earth. Now focusing on this point, it said until thy until thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, the saints are Israelites for you. Let's get that clear that up real quick. For you people who uh, believe you can become spiritual Israelites and all that nonsense. This is Psalm 105. Uh nope, that ain't it. I thought that was the scripture I had to say. And who the, that the saints were the church of Israel, which the scripture in Psalm does say that the saints are Israelites. But that was a uh, scripture more focusing on the prophet. As far as the prophets, okay. Eighteen again, Revelation eleven eighteen. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that they should, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. Unto the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great, and should have destroyed them, which destroyed the earth. Notice it said, Give thy reward to thy servants, the prophets. It said, Them first. Then it said, To the saints and to them that fear thy name. Because the, the people that the Yahweh is going to save, you know what I'm saying, is not only going to be prophets, because the scripture says, If you speak this word of prophecy, you shall save thy and them that hear thee. You know what I'm saying? So some of the people that hear you, they just gonna be believers. They not gonna be prophets. The scriptures say are all apostles, are all prophets. Everyone is not a prophet. The Lord is not only gonna save prophets, but the prophets are a are, are high are, 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 are esteemed at a higher level than a believer, man. Let's get some more scriptures. Uh Let's see what I got here. Matthew 19, 28. Okay, and Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve, thr twelve thrones, judging, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. He was talking to the disciples. So that was further establishing something, man. So when Yahweh Shai come in his glory, under him is going to be King David, or Peter, if you will. And the, and then the 12, and the, the, the remainder disciples, man. And then who else? Because the disciples, what, what do the disciples do? They prophesy, you know? But, but the 12 disciples don't make up 144,000 men. So out of them 12 disciples, Coming out of the coming out of the prophets, which 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 uh, only one hundred and forty four thousand able to learn that song. Who the rest of them is? The rest of them is the various prophets that you see prophesying. Man. That's what prophets do: prophesy. Right. Let's see what else I get. Uh, I'll quote it this. First Corinthians uh, chapter. Yeah, First Corinthians 12 and 28, it says, And the Most High have said some of the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, see, first apostles. That first, after Yahweh shot, it's the apostles. It's, it's, it's Peter and, and the apostles. That's why I put apostles first. Secondarily, what? Prophets. Thirdly, teachers. 
after that, miracles being gifts of healings, health, government, diversity of tongues, man. Those who were able to learn their song include the apostles and the prophets, man. The 144,000. And I'm going to go to that video, too, Lord willing, in this video to show y'all to watch uh, what them brothers uh, did that. Did the, uh, did the video, uh, I think, matter of fact, it was a live stream, the $144,000 profit. Let me, let me go to that so you can see that. In fact, I'll do that now. Then I'll put a couple more scriptures in uh, the book of Sirach. And I'll conclude this lesson. Um... Anyway, okay, I'll find it. Here you go. It's coming up. Here you go, right here. It says there are 144,000. Revelation 14. It said 144,000 are the prophets, men of the Lord. This is on GMS Sharp Mop by page. And you can watch that and then get a, a, a better grasp. Like I said, this is just a response. I'm just doing, you know, a little adding. But let me get a, a couple of scriptures I had in the Apocrypha bookmark. Mm -hmm. Bookmarks. Oh, yes, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 1, verse 32. It says, uh, I sent unto you my servants, the prophets, whom you have taken and slain, whom you have taken and slain and torn their bodies in pieces, whose blood I will require of your hands, said Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So Yahweh Bashim Yahushai sent his servants, the prophets, to the children of Israel, right, to warn them, to let them know uh, his will, his word. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai revealed his 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 mindset to the prophets, man. And the prophets relayed a message to the rest of the children of Israel, man. But they set the Lord's counsel at naught at naught by scoffing the prophets and by taking it further by killing them. But the, the Lord said He's gonna require that, man. The Lord gonna require that at, at your hands. He required uh, he required that which is past, man. All right, I got another bookmark. This is a good one here. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven, verse twenty-seven. Uh, no, I start at twenty-four. It says, "For wisdom is more moving than any motion. Wisdom is the, the the understanding of these of this truth of this knowledge. She passeth and goeth through all things through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. She passes and goes through all things by reason of her pureness, for she is the breath of the power of the Most High. That's what makes you alive. He was born to it, but it's the spirit that quickens. You know what I'm saying? That breath represents life. The, the, this truth, the understanding of, this, of the doctrine of the scriptures, it, it brings you alive, man. For she is the breath of the power of the Most High, and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall into her, man. You can't be a wicked nigga. And uh and, and and just uh just happen upon some uh, upon the wisdom, man. It says she will not. The scripture says she will not enter into a malicious soul. It says for she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High, and the image of His goodness. Just the point. And being but one, she can do all things. Verse twenty-seven. And remaining in herself, she make it all things new. And in all ages, entering into holy souls, she make it them friends of the Most High and prophets. Okay, that's a that's distinct. That's 
That's that's distinguishing right there, man. Everybody not going to get that, man. Everybody not going to get this wisdom to 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 understand it and teach it. You know what I'm saying? This wisdom might be brought to you and you might understand that it's true. You know, and you you know like like being a believer, man, you might think something about the scriptures and 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 the prophet might correct you and now you believe it to be true. You know what I'm saying? Yah ba shimi al shat open your mind and heart to accept this truth. But opening your mind and heart to teach it, that's another level, man. Being a prophet and a, being a believer, it's 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 it's, it's, it's levels, man. That's why that's why Apostle says levels to this thing, man. Let's see what else I got. Uh, Oh, this is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach 36 and 15. It says, uh, oh, man. I'll start uh, from 14. It says, fill Zion with thine unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. Zion is, uh, is that's talking about the people, man. First, we are people before we are placed, man. Talking about the Israelites. And how is the Lord going to fill Zion with his unspeakable oracles, man? The prophets is, is, is given the understanding to reveal the mysteries to the people, man. So it got to be prophets out there. It says, give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. And raise up prophets that I've been in my name. Raise up means set above. You know what I'm saying? Put up on a standard, man. What is these people talking about, man? Let me see. Uh, all right. Because uh, this is the point. This, for me personally, and I believe this may happen uh, with the brother in Dallas, the uh, the elder brother down there, y'all swamp it too. I personally believe this video prompted, this what prompted me to want to do the lesson. On the 144,000 being the prophets, because I was watching, I was watching the video that the brother did. It was the response video to some guys uh, talking about they was correcting the GMS breakdown, and I was watching this brother's video, and I was like, okay, yeah. So then I went to watch the video that prompted him to do the response, and I'm looking like, what? You know? Well, that's why the scriptures say the uh, uh, it's made plain unto the righteous, man. Uh, I mean, unto the holy, Salakia. But let me see. Let me go to my history, see if I can pull up real quick. Uh, yeah, man. Title of the video, correcting yet another GMS. Uh, something, man. It's correct another. We'll see, man. Uh, here you go, right here. Oh no, that's the brother's response, Salakia. This time, it says, correcting yet another GMS breakdown. All right. I'm not even going to be long on this one. Let me see if I can get to the point. Scattered you into the winds to all nations. That's why the hundred, now, now John's actually seeing the 144,000 for the first time. Now, here's how... One West breakoffs such as GMS, IUIC, etc. This is how they break it down. They say, okay, so you got the 144,000, then you got another multitude. But no, no, because like you said, John was showed the, the number. Okay, the angel told him it's going to be 12,000 from each tribe. Then, guess what he did? Bam! He showed him. Is, so John's looking at this. He said, I see a multitude of all different kinds of people. Because looking at this picture, can you count each person? Can you go ahead and count? I can see. Can you do a head count? Your perspective can't even go this far back to do a head count. So this right here, I, you know, let me tell you something. I mean, if you don't understand what we're talking about logistically, look at the biggest NFL stadium, which can hold up to about 50,000 capacity. Now you're looking at that, and that's, that's shoulder a, to shoulder. You cannot count those people like that. That's too much to count. Let, that's just fifty thousand. So this is like three times that. 
Okay? You cannot count all these people. So when John saw this, he said, shit, this is just a big ass multitude. You know? But, I, but I'm seeing people of all different walks of life. And that confused him because yeah. he didn't understand about, you know, the confusion of faces due to the scattering. And you know, it confuses the Sunday church Christians. Okay? Because they wrong with this. You. Uh, you can watch this video on your own time. If you watch this video, uh, in essence, what they were saying was only the, the 144,000 represents the elect of Israel, meaning that Yahweh Bashan is only going to save 144,000 out of all of Israel. That well, that's what I perceive after watching the video. You know, I watched it once over and then I watched it again to like, you know, hit the little points I was gonna discuss in my sit down lesson or whatever. But basically, uh, basically what was uh being said in this video that I got and I'll be corrected if I'm wrong, but I'm I'm 100% sure that these guys were saying that only the 144,000 will be saved of Israel. In essence, saying that 144,000 is the one third. So what I thought of, what I thought of simply, and they and and they, I don't. <laughs> Man, we watch this video, man. It's just so many. It's so many errors. It's just so many errors, you know, just running through this video. It's 48 minutes. It's so many simple errors where it's like, oh, my God. You know, you can just point out a few things. But one of the first things that I thought of a week ago when I saw it, I'm like, wait a minute. If the 144,000 is the one third, then that makes this scripture not true. Let me get it. Uh, it says, uh, this is Hosea chapter 1, verse 10. It says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass in a place where it was said unto them, You are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, You are the sons of the living power. So if, so if basically, we can put it like this. If the 144,000 is the one-third, then that means that you just multiply 144,000 by three. You know what I'm saying? According to what they saying. And I thought about it like that. And then I said, because you know, they... They double the scripture said double minded man is unstable is all in all his ways. They get to saying they said some about Zechariah 13 and 8 was talking about 70 AD. And then they backed it up with a precept in Ezekiel. But Zechariah 13 and 8 said two thirds shall be destroyed, but a third shall be left therein. The scripture that they precept in Ezekiel said a third shall be scattered. So I was just saying, like, okay, is the third going to be scattered or left therein? Because they say in Zechariah 13 and 8 ain't talking about the deliverance. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's just so, so, uh, so much miscom miscommunication being, you know what I'm saying, being done with these scriptures, man. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, when you're not dealing with it in the truth, it's like you, when you mishandling the scriptures, it's like, it's, it's, it's like without fear. When you speak on these scriptures, man, it should be a, a certain reverence that come on you, man. You don't want to you don't want to misspeak. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and the pro that's why the scriptures say do nothing without counsel, man. Satan could get up on you, man, and thinking you thinking you deep, think you done came up with something, man. No, nah, man, you gotta. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the Lord might reveal something to you, man. I ain't saying that's not impossible, but. The scriptures say do nothing without cross, do nothing without counsel. What that mean? You cross reference, man, with other spiritual men. Not no niggas in the world, man. 
But anyway, I don't want to go on a tangent, but, you know, basically, y'all about seeing y'all shout out that was edifying to the elect. I just wanted to, you know, add on, um, you know what I'm saying, just do a little, a little take on the elder brothers out there in uh, Dallas. You know, they did the video a week ago on um, uh, the 144,000 being the prophets, man. The 144,000 that the scripture speaks about is not just... The hundred forty four thousand is not the only man that would be saved, man. What about when Yahweh Shah said that uh if they receive uh Salakia? And 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 this was brought up This was brought up in, in, in that in that video. Oh see now when oh I spelled the wrong. This was brought up in the in the brothers in uh, Dallas video. And that was an excellent point. This is Matthews 18 and 5. It says, And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receive it me. You know what I'm saying? So the Yah Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, is gonna show mercy. He's gonna show mercy to some people, man. He's gonna show mercy to some. It's just not gonna be the 144,000, man. First of all, the scriptures say the uh let's get it, man. Cause that's now it's just like it's just stupid, you know. This is is uh, uh, Ezekiel. Let me see. Is it thirty four and thirty one? Matter of fact, we're gonna start at thirty four and like twenty nine or something. We're gonna start up. I started uh I started 29. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 29. It says, And I will raise up for them a plant of renown, and they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land, neither bear the shame of the heathen any more. Verse 30. Thus shall they know that I, Yahweh, their power, am with them, and that they, even the house of Israel, are my people. Said Yahweh by Shimei, I was shy of power. This is the point. Verse 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men. And I am your power. Said Yahweh by Shimei, I was shy the most high. So, how's the 144,000 is going to be the, the only people that saved? Women and children going to be saved. Women and children are not men. So the tabernacle of the most high is with men, man. So that 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 congregation of 144,000 is men. Prophets are men. Okay? A prophetess is a woman. But the prophets, you know what I'm saying? Not to, you know what I'm saying, be divergent other points. The prophets are men, man. The tabernacle of the most high. If you got a congregate, if you got a tabernacle of people, man, you know what I'm saying? Like okay, I'll give you an example. You got King Arthur, you got you got King Arthur's court. You know what I'm saying? You when you get into that the whole thing, you got King Arthur and the knights of the round table, man. You got King Arthur being the king, you got his knights being up under him. Who knew the plans and the devices and the will of King Arthur, man? The people of his of, of uh, the people of his court, man. The people of his uh of his round table. So the 144,000, the prophet makes up the round table of Yahweh Shai, man. And that's the 144,000. Not, not uh, the whole, the 144,000 don't, don't consist of the only people that's going to be saved. It's not only going to be men that's going to be saved, man. It's going to be women and children, man. You know? Because the, the scripture speaks about... Uh, the household was being saved, man. Cornelius and his house. All right? When he was an Israelite, which means his wife and kids, man. His family, man. His family don't consist of all men, man. He had a, you know, a woman, kids. You know what I'm saying? The Lord not only... The 144,000... That ain't even big enough. It's, the scriptures say, though Israel be numbered as the sands of the sea, only a remnant gonna be saved. Is if you look at it, 
it's probably over, it's probably about three or four billion Israelites. You got the 12 tribes over here in the land of the north, which is a that number probably in the billions. That number probably about like one or two billion. And then you got the confusion of faces. People, come on now, man. And then it, it, it's just not feasible, man. It's just not right. Then you think about the Israelites located in North America. So you mean to tell me one third of the Israelites in North America is only 144,000? It's just it's mathematically, spiritually, logically, common sense. Nothing in that video makes sense, man. Um, that I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh by Shimia Shai. I'm gonna say Shalom, man.